So I'm here with Steve uh, Tomlin and, uh, and from Chambi. That's right. And we had Sony. That's right. So where, where, where are you here at Sony? Well, we're working with Sony on the design of and delivery of the new Sony Dash. Uh, we, super cool 7-inch over there. So, yeah, so, I mean, a, a lot of people don't have the complete picture on what Chumbi does. We make hardware devices. People know our Chumbi Classic, our Chumbi One that we launched a, a few months ago. But what we're also doing is working with top OEMs to embed the Sony plat or the Chumbi platform into uh, into devices, fourth screen devices, connected devices. So you have a personal stream of your favorite parts of the internet on a whole range of devices: clock radios, televisions, photo frames. Yeah. Uh, so this is the first big OEM announcement uh, that we've made. But it's the idea nice. is to have Chumbi on everything. It's pretty nice. Uh Thank you. <laughs> and, and, uh, so, do you, your plan is to have uh, Chumbi on all these screens, or is that the next step? Well, yeah. I mean, the big, you know, global idea is is Chumbi on every connected screen. Yeah. Um, why does that make sense? Well, it's it's your own personal stream of the internet. Uh, playing on any device you choose to look at. So it's not about putting apps on an app dock, it's about turning on a, a chumpy powered device that just plays your internet. That's the idea. But you're, you're using widgets a lot, right? It's basically the whole interface is widgets. And so how is that transition going to happen with uh, the whole uh, website where people can upload widgets and all that? And with Sony, will they be able to just use all of them? Yeah, I mean, you know, widgets is sort of a, an odd term. Not too many people understand it. Uh, it's really about your content. It's about your Facebook uh, uh, status. It's about your Flickr photos, your Pandora stations. All of these should just play. So whether you call them widgets or apps or whatever, you should turn on a chumpy powered device uh, and it should play your favorite parts of the internet. That's the big idea. And it should play it whether it's a connected television, a connected digital photo frame, a connected clock radio, a Sony Dash. Uh, it should just play your media, play your content. Cool. So, and uh, people can buy four or five for the home, uh, next to the bed, uh, next to the kitchen, and the room. Yeah, the, yeah, you should have one in every room. Because it's supposed to be cheap, and it's cheap. It's one ninety nine for a seven inch capacitive device. It's cheap, one ninety nine. I want one. Yeah. And uh, but may I ask, uh, how would you how would you um, position uh, your solution compared to, let's say, what Google does, Android? For example. Well, they're just, they're just different. Uh, you know, I think there are solutions that make sense for highly interactive devices, things that you touch and interact with, smartphones, laptops. I think you need a very different approach. Same content, you know, Twitter and yeah. Facebook and Flickr and Pandora, same content, but a different way to deliver that content to a device like this that's mostly passive. Um, you want this to just play. Yeah. You don't want to have to walk over to every screen in your life and touch it and download an app and click on it. You already have plenty of devices that do that. Yeah. Uh, you don't have device, unless you have a Chumbi or a Chumbi powered device, you don't have a device that you simply turn on and it plays your internet. That's the big difference. Android doesn't do that. And uh, what, could, what could happen with the USB host? What, what would you think can happen there? And what, have, what is happening already and what, 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 what could happen, like the craziest things? Yeah, well, I, you know, I don't. Again, it's, if it's hardware-based, that's really for for Sony to answer. This is their product. We're collaborating with them on the software and the media, the network on this. Um, but I mean, a USB is a great connector. It's a very standard way to attach peripherals, power them, drive information back and forth. Um, the combination of USB and Wi-Fi is an extremely open-ended and powerful way to connect devices to other devices and to the net. Cool. Uh, do you think uh, it should connect to a TV? Or, but this one doesn't, right? This is the hardware question. That, uh, TV output. Uh, and Chumbi, you, you have a new version, version 2 right now. We have, a, we have a product called the Chumbi One. Yeah. Uh, it sells for about $120, but only from our website. Yeah. And it's designed to be very much a next generation clock radio. Looks like a clock radio, acts like a clock radio, but is you know something a lot better than the clock radio you probably have. Is it something uh, to do anything to do with the open source? Well, that's what Chumbi is all about. Chumbi is about open platforms. Yeah. Uh, it's about open developing, open development networks, so you can publish your applications to Chumbi. Uh, it's about, uh, you know, Chumbi products, Chumbi branded products are about open hardware, seeing what the specs are, being able to modify that. Somebody's already figured out how to hack a Chumbi One, our clock radio, to have video output to your TV, as you mentioned. Um, and it's about open software. 
so you can get in and you can actually physically change what your Chumbi does uh, by getting access to every uh, every aspect of its software stack. Super. And the speaker and the uh, microphone and all these things, lots of things can happen there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, one, the one thing that I think is true of all Chumbi and Chumbi powered products is they just keep getting better. They get better because developers, I mean this is Flash based, developers create more cool content, it gets published to the network. Uh, more extensions and add-ons get created. So, you know, rather than a product is obsolete in a year and you go get the new one, this one just keeps getting better. Cool. I think that's what, really important to consumers. Thanks. Okay, right. thanks. Okay.